Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Pope Francis will address this body in a joint session this month, and I join my colleagues on both sides of the aisle when I say I am eager to receive the Holy Father's message of peace as a reminder of where our priority should be in our work here in the House. As the Pope explained earlier this year in an encyclical, becoming a better steward of our environment should be a priority for all of us. The leader of the Catholic Church accurately points out that it is a moral imperative to care for others and the gifts we have been given by addressing climate change and addressing it now. It is time to work together to better protect our environment and build a culture of stewardship. I thank Pope Francis for his focus on this issue, and I hope the words he will share in two weeks ring true with all of us, including those who continue to deny climate change, both in this body and around the world. For him, the wisdom to change one's mind and evolve in thought is a blessing. I hope the Pope's encyclical will encourage deniers to work with us, to find creative ways to clean up our environment, help create jobs, and make our world just a little bit better and more peaceful for our kids and our grandkids. With that, I thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield back the balance of my time.